So the Biden administration has followed through on one of its campaign promises by canceling student loan debt. Only up to $20,000, so a lot of people on the left aren't too happy. People on the right are waving the flag of, oh, it's personal responsibility, people, the taxpayers are going to take care of it. Both are kind of missing the point. James Lindsay was on Tim Cass this past week, and he gave probably the best description of what's really going on here because it's always a play behind the play. It's never what you see in front of your face. I say this all the time. It's like the game of chess. It's never the move that's in front of you. It's the move five, six moves ahead that they're trying to set this up for. So I'm going to let James Lizzie kind of break this down, then I'm going to talk about it myself. Later. All of this radical left since the 1960s has at the bottom the, the goal to create the activists who are going to not be able to figure out how to live their life without getting the policy change that they demand. So in this case, you give all these kids crazy amounts of student debt, and what do they do? They become agitators for student loan uh, forgiveness and eventually free college because they want to have the free indoctrination program. And so hand in glove, the colleges become the indoctrination centers or they're actually the programming centers. They're more like Maoist thought reform prisons than they are like indoctrination. So you turn it into a thought reform prison and you get kids to demand that it be free because you put them in financial dire straits. Yeah, that's basically it right there. That's basically what they're trying to do. They're trying to get people, and they've done this on purpose. They've depressed certain populations. It's like what they're doing right now. They're creating chaos, putting people in disarray so that people will start asking for things. And what these things that they ask for only empowers the government and empowers the state. That's what they're trying to do here. And you see, what they've done is they put people in debt, right? They burden people with the student loan debt to where now they're coming and saying, please bail us out. But bail is, bailing them out and bailing us out every single time, it comes with a caveat. And that caveat means that the federal government has more power. This is part of the Marxist agenda and it's part of the globalist agenda. They need the United States to adopt this form of thinking. Dependency on government. Dependency on the state to the state takes care of you because freedom people don't want to be a part of this new world order that we have going on here. And we see that that's what they'll do. They'll constantly use people and use causes. Students suffering from student loan debt. How can you be against that, right? How can you be against people that went to college, took out a loan to do so because they wanted to better themselves and better their family and be able to make more money? How could you hate on them by denying them cancellation of their student loan debt? That's the way that it's sold to you. Right. But in all actuality, what they're leading towards is a socialization of all education. That means the state gets to control what everything that you're being taught and everything that you learn so that therefore they control the narrative. We've already seen that happening with big tech when the First Amendment. That's what they do. Big tech has worked as working along with the government in order to create this kind of echo chamber and indoctrination that anything that doesn't fit the narrative gets labeled as misinformation and that misinformation gets put to the side and people don't believe it and they believe what the state wants you to say this is all propaganda right it's the same thing with this student loan debt right it has yeah i get it people have been burdened by it and i get it as well they have bailed out corporations mostly the people on the right has championed that Republicans have championed that and so that's what they do so you have to start thinking those were chess moves too because then they can turn around and say well if you want to bail out, so you want to bail out the corporations you want to bail out Wall Street but you don't want to bail out Main Street that see that's the game and people get sucked into that really in all actuality we should bail out nobody but that's not how the government is trying to do things James Lindsay also talked about another example. He gave another example of how this works, and we see it in real time. I'm going to let him talk about it on this clip here. Now, with the trans issues, the same thing. Because what happens if you transition a child? Put them on puberty blockers. Sterilize you, you them. You cut them up. Sterilize them. But what else? Do you know how expensive? You know how many drugs and, and yep. how much medical care and they have? you have to take them for an extremely long for time. Like for like the life. rest of your yeah. life. No, and, you know, right, right, So right. what are those people going to advocate for at a policy level? Uh-oh socialized medicine mm -hmm. because the medicine's so expensive and the system broke them and it's so expensive so what you're doing history wow. uses people and then discards them sorry trans activists that's what you're doing you're using these poor kids and you're going to discard them it uses people and then discards them to get their policy agendas in place and in this case you're going to create an army of people among other things they are politically moldable etc but you also are going to create an army of people who are going to advocate vigorously for the rest of their lives for socialized they medicine. using people. 
the trans movement, the LGBTQ plus movement, Black Lives Matter movement, the P B B I P O C women's movement, all these so-called oppressed people, right? They're only being used to fit an agenda and then they get discarded. So as you see, the trans movement is, an, is a reason they're going to get people to then start saying, hey, we need socialized health care. See, you have to think about it like this. They're not going to come to power. This isn't like Lenin and Mao in those days and things like that. They're not going to come to power and just start nationalizing everything, right? Because that's what the first step you would do if you were implementing a socialist society. You would start nationalizing the industry. And that literally where the government just takes over, kicks people out of their land and out of their private property and everything like that and takes over their businesses. They're not going to do that. That would be way too controversial. Here in the United States, we would go crazy if they actually said these things. But they don't have to say it. You're saying it. They're getting you to say it. That's the thing. That's what they're trying to do. Censorship, they don't have to censor. You're asking for censorship because they've got you to believe that these people are spreading misinformation that is going to hurt people, right? That you're attacking the democracy. So therefore, we need to censor people. You don't, they don't have to say it. You're saying it. That's the key thing. And as we see, we have different activists that come forward, and I just call them grifters because that's what they all are. But we have one like Nina Turner. She's been big. She's a former state senator in, Hawaii, in Ohio. She's an activist. She's on the Young Turks Network and everything like that. But look at what she's saying. Here she's saying in this tweet right here. In a country where democracy is in question and wealth inequality is at such a disparity, transformational, transformational policy is the answer. See? The state is the answer. Policy changes in the state is comes more in control cancel all student debt cancel all medical debt make college and health care free pass reparations expand the supreme court fix this yada 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 right this is what they want they want complete control from the state right you cancel medical student debt cancel medical debt we're basically getting to this point where we're getting rid of private property period right that's the agenda here here she says in another tweet we must reject the scarcity mindset our government has the ability to fund programs that will help everyone. No, it doesn't. Government doesn't have the ability to do anything because the government doesn't have any money. The reality is you have the money and government will take that money and decide what they say is best for you. That's the whole point. The government can't fund programs because the government is not a business. It is just an entity that is there solely to protect our rights, our inalienable rights, but it does not do that anymore because politicians have realized they can get power if they give you something. They work together with the corporations and Wall Street and big tech and all these other different entities that make a lot of money that, that comprise the 1% that they say to be fighting against. They work with them, right? That's who's in control here. The government then takes our money because they able to convince us to give it to them and that they will help everyone that's what she says fund programs that will help everyone this is what they're getting towards it's going to be public housing public education public health care everything public 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 which means government controlled and if we give power to the government that's less power to the people that's less options your power your power resides in the power to choose. Choose your path, choose your destiny. They're taking that away. And this whole student loan debt, that's, that's the end game. I hate to break it to everybody, but that's what they're trying to do.